Welcome to another wonderful fractional video. This one's about understanding fractions, fractions of a whole. Now, if you're enjoying these videos and you're finding them valuable for you and your students, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that this channel can continue making great videos for you and many others. Thank you. Now let's get started with our video. From our last fraction video, we stated that a fraction is a way to name part of a whole. If you take these two portions, for example, these are fractions, one's broken into three equal parts, one's broken into four equal parts. Now when it comes to fractions, you must always first count the total amount of equal parts. This one has five equal parts. Now. That one part that's shaded is called one, one-fifth part, which is one-fifth, written with one at the top as the numerator and five at the bottom as the denominator, one-fifth. What if we shade another portion? Well, that's another one-fifth shaded. So now we have two one-fifth parts shaded, written as two as the top number, the numerator, five as the bottom number, the denominator, and we say this is two-fifths. What if we shade another one-fifth? Now we have three one-fifth parts. We call this three-fifths. Three is the numerator, five as the denominator, three-fifths. Three at the top, five at the bottom. Shade another portion. Now we have four one-fifths part. Four-fifths, written four as the numerator, five as your denominator, four-fifths shaded. Shade the last portion. What would you have? Another one fifth shaded. That's a total of five fifths shaded, which is also the same as the whole entire shape shaded. Five fifths is written five over five, which is five as the numerator and five as the denominator. Let's try this one. What is the fraction that names each part? Well, let's count all the parts. This has six equal parts, so each part is considered to be one sixth. Each part is one, six. One is the numerator, six is the denominator. What is the fraction of the part that is shaded? Well, there are two that are shaded, so two sixths is my fraction. And for this fraction, let's count the equal parts. First, we have to figure out what is the fraction that names each part. Well, there are six equal parts, so the fraction that names each part would be one sixth. Now, since all parts are shaded, six six is my fraction. Six as the numerator, six as the denominator. What is the fraction that names the each part? Well, there is a total of eight parts this time. So each part would be one eighth. So each part is one eighth. It's one as the numerator, eight as the denominator. But the parts that are shaded now, there are two eighths shaded. So we write it two as a numerator, eight as the denominator. Hi, do you remember me from your last video? Oh my goodness, it's Mr. Pizza. How are you doing, Mr. Pizza? Not so great. Being a fraction is really getting to me, you know. It sliced my whole world. Oh, Mr. Pizza, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, being a fraction is really not such a bad thing. When you think about it, we're all fractions. Like, for example, we're all fractions of a family. We're all part of a family. So that makes us a fraction of a family. And if you think about it even further, if you're in a classroom, we're all part of a classroom. You know, so we're all a fraction of the classroom. And you know what, Mr. Pizza, most importantly, we are all part of this beautiful world, right? So we're all a small fraction of this world. And that's important. We might be a small fraction, but we're very important nonetheless, right? I like the idea of being part of something bigger. Well, <laughs> that's a good thing. We're all part of something bigger. Thanks for helping me see things differently. You're welcome, Mr. Pizza. Anytime. 